Now, London's skyline is ever-changing, but some of the new high-rise construction projects are now being put on hold. The reason? A slump in the capital's office rental market. Well, Matthew Morris is live overlooking the city with more. Matthew. Yes, Alice, I spoke to a cabbie recently who said that the city behind us is like a big building site at the moment, and he's not far wrong with all the cranes and construction workers on view. The big skyscraper projects are aiming high, offering prestigious office space, and it's space they need to fill. They're going to be big, bold, and to some, beautiful. But how long will it take to fill them with office workers once they're up? Much longer than expected, according to some experts, because of our continuing economic woes. We are in a tense phase and the tension that you can see reflected all around in the Eurozone and washing over to everywhere else reflects itself into economic activity. Lack of confidence, hesitation, lack of commitment, all of these things will conspire to stop people, prevent businesses from taking 15, 10, 15, 20 year leases in new buildings. South of the river is the Shard. It opens on July the 5th, but so far no office space has been let. Into the city and going up right now is 20 Fenchurch Street, nicknamed the Walkie Talkie. It opens in 2014. No office space has so far been let. Over at 100 Bishopsgate, the developer has told us construction has been delayed until a tenant can be found. And all seems quiet at the pinnacle, also on Bishopsgate. Recent media reports suggested construction has stopped over funding concerns. We tried to contact the developer, but they did not return any calls. On the bright side, 122 Leadenhall, nicknamed the cheese grater. It's currently under construction. A third of its office space has been pre-let to an American insurer. The Corporation of London is confident all the new skyscrapers will be filled. It takes at least five years between the twinkle in the eye of the developer and opening the door for the occupier to move in. So it's impossible that supply of office accommodation and demand for office ac accommodation are ever going to be exactly in sync. Through the 1980s and 90s, London had huge swings of boom and bust in supply and demand for office accommodation. I would describe the current situation as being more than more like driving over a rough rural road. It's very lumpy. According to statistics from one sales and lettings firm, take-up of new office space in the city in the first quarter of this year was down by 57% on the same period last year and down by 86% on the first quarter of 2010. But the firm argues there is no need for developers to panic. You're seeing big towers going up. A lot of them aren't finished yet. And at the moment, developers and landowners and landlords are not putting the buildings on the market until they're finished. They will get filled in time. They will let the space if they're prepared to discount the prices. Are they prepared to discount the prices? Don't know the answer. So a period of uncertainty and deals to be done to rent office space inside the new kids on the block. Yes, we've got the calculators out for that story and worked out the combined office space for those buildings we've been looking at in that report. Well, it combined would be enough to fill 19 city halls. So the lettings agents, I'm sure, will be hoping they will be very busy. It's quite a lot of space. Thanks very much, Matt.